the Global Indonesia Professionals Association, or GIPA, alongside the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, hosted the second annual Global Human Capital Summit. It aims to be a medium where various actors can have fruitful discussions on developing Indonesia's human capital. The 2023 Global Human Capital Summit was held on Tuesday, August 22nd at the Western Hotel in Jakarta, organized by the Global Indonesia Professionals Association in coordination with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The first summit was held last year as an official side event to Indonesia's G20-B20 presidency, supported by Indonesia's Chamber of Commerce and Industry. This year's summit aims to consolidate leadership and build a network of global talents, also through Indonesia's alliance with Europe, Asia Pacific, and other strategic regions. At Global Indonesia Professional Association, GIPA, we empower a global alliance of overseas professional hubs. We have over 23 all across Europe, Middle East, Asia Pacific, and Americas. And together, we represent Indonesian professionals, executives working abroad in a number of industry groups from tech, financial services, comms media, tech energy, you know, all the way. So about eight industry groups that we, we represent together. So whilst we're small, but these are are really the highly talented. The Global Human Capital Summit hopes that through this event we can have more contribution from our overseas network because we have like network of overseas professionals all across the G20 and the ASEAN countries. We want to know how these people can actually contribute back to our nation by transferring of knowledge and also like how GIPA can actually help the Indonesian diaspora, especially the professionals and executives. The fact that this event has been successfully hosted today with the part participation of our global alliance and the many, many professional hubs, it shows that Indonesian, overseas Indonesian professionals are there, they're ready to contribute to Indonesia and will work with any and every stakeholder that's willing to take us, government, community partners, diplomatic community, you name it. We're ready to build a better Indonesia. The hope is that this summit would encourage actors to expedite the development and mobility of human capital to address Indonesia's talent gap to create a more resilient and connected region. The 2023 Global Human Capital Summit, which have concluded on August 22nd, was focusing on the development of several important aspects of human capital. The summit was a forum for exchange between thought leaders in Indonesia and around the world. One aspect that it touched upon is digital and finance. On that, our reporter Audrey Utoyo talked with Gita Shahrir, Head of Investment at BNI Ventures and Special Advisor to the Coordinating Ministry of Maritime and Investment Affairs and one of the speakers in the field at the event. The Global Human Capital Summit highlights the role of human capital in four sectors, digital and finance being two pivotal and important aspects. To learn more about this topic, joining me now is Gita Sharir, Head of Investment at BNI Ventures and Special Advisor to the Coordinating Minister for Maritime and Investment Affairs. Hello Ibu Gita, how are you? Thank you so much for joining us at TBRI World. Thank you so much for inviting me. Hello, uh, Wigita. You had a really, really great talk today. I truly enjoyed it. And one of the things that you said before is that you are looking for cockroaches. In terms of entrepreneur, and I love the term, people who are small, yet highly resilient and able to survive through any situations despite the conditions. And you have as well been in the trenches. In the theme of developing human capital first, how can we as a people build resilient entrepreneurs that have a growth mindset and can withstand the inevitable life circumstances? As very many more wise people than me have said, um, the only thing that is constant is change. And so when I think of resilience, I really think about how can we train ourselves to fail better? So not to succeed, but to fail. Because the reality is, in order for us to even get anywhere to succeed, especially when we're thinking of technology or any other uh, type of sector that are rapidly developing, is you will need to fail a lot in order to find those peaks and those moments of success. So it really is about how many times can you fail well and how many times can you get back up? It really is the question of resilience in the end.
That's a great answer. And then secondly, taking more of a macro perspective now, in your opinion, what actually continues to hold back uh, our human capital as well as the advancement of human resources for Indonesia? And how does the Indonesian government also play a role in navigating these challenges? So when I think about the idea of resilience, a lot of people tend to underestimate themselves. And I think Indonesians tend to underestimate ourselves a lot because we assume that, oh, we're not as good as ABC, we're not as great as that administration, we're not as great as that country. But in fact, if you really think about it, for a group of people who have been oppressed and colonized for hundreds of years, we've been able to bounce back and in fact reclaim our own culture and create our nation into the fourth largest nation in the world almost from scratch and we're still doing it today. So yeah, does it mean we still have a long way to go? Absolutely. And I think government definitely has a huge role in it because in the end, they are the ones that can create parameters and safeguards for our citizens and make sure that we are uh, progressing along well, especially when I think about the government's role. It's about creating that 50 to 100 year plan. So creating a political will that exceeds even perhaps their lifetime and thinking about where do I want to put this country 50 to 100 years from now? When I'm not here, where do I want the country to be? So if we can have more people thinking this way, and no, not just the public sector, but also the private sector, if we can have more people thinking, hey, what legacy am I leaving? Not just for my own egotistical um, pride and need, but also for just other people. How do I make sure life generations from now is better than it is today? Then I think we're going to be well. So thinking in terms of long term is as well is incredibly important. Well, Ibu Gita Sharir, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate you coming on to our world. Ibu Gita Sharir, Head of Investment at BNI Ventures and Special Advisor to the Coordinating Minister for Maritime and Investment Affairs. Well, that is it for my report. I'm Audrey Toyo and camera person Harry Hamdala reporting for TBI World.